Now, if you're like a lot of entrepreneurs nowadays, the chances are that you have a growing remote team. Team of staff based pretty much anywhere around the world that are helping you run, support and grow your business. And kudos to you, that is the way to go after all. However, are you working with them as productively and as efficiently as you possibly can? In today's video, I'm gonna share my top five tools that you should be using to do exactly that. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Chris here and welcome to this week's video. I hope you've been doing very, very well. And today we're gonna to be talking all about working remotely with staff, utilizing five tools that quite frankly, if they disappeared one by one off the face of the earth at some point tomorrow, I'd have problems running my business. And so with many, many other online entrepreneurs as well. Yes, today we're gonna to be deep diving into the subject of online tools that you can utilize to really promote the productivity and that efficiency that every business owner wants from their team. And look, before I get going, all links to everything I mentioned going forward are gonna be in the description below the video. Tool number one is Trello. Myself and my team use this, quite frankly, for pretty much everything we do when it comes to our online content creation, publication and marketing. What I love about it the most is that you can have separate boards for individual team members that are working on different pieces of content at any one time. And as the boss, I can peep in and see where everybody is when it comes to their actual workflow. Along with that, you can also have individual boards on Trello that you can all collaborate on with one particular project. So for example, our annual conference, the Youpreneur Summit, which takes place in London, England every November. We can have several members of our team scattered all around literally the world, all around the world, who then combine their work and collaborate on that one particular project board on all the different aspects that we have to cover when it comes to that particular event. So we could have people you know, mentioning what's going on with certain suppliers for things like printable items that we might need. Maybe it's following up with the speakers, potentially maybe it's marketing, and ticket sales. And again, you can go in and have a look at it all very, very easily. So that's tool number one, Trello. Tool number two is Slack. Oh my gosh. Slack pretty much killed email for our company. And yes, we still email each other from time to time, obviously, but almost all of our day-to-day -day communication happens inside of Slack. It's like instant messaging on steroids, literally. What I love about Slack is you can have individual channels, a little bit like Trello, where everybody can be part of that discussion, but you can also just directly message each other as well if you've got things that you want to discuss with one particular team member that you don't necessarily want everybody else to see or they don't need to see it one way or the other. Slack is huge. The only thing that's missing on Slack, just one man's opinion here, is the ability to send audio messages directly from their mobile app, which for all intents and purposes is perfect, except that one thing. So if there's anybody from Slack watching, sort it out, will you? Let us record some audio messages with each other. My third tool is Google Docs. Now, what I love about this is it takes your slide decks, your spreadsheets, and your Word documents and makes them all available online for all of your team members to work on at the same time in a really collaborative approach. Again, you can block things off so nobody can actually edit something and only see what's up there. But obviously, it's fantastic for things like content planning because we can go back and forth on ideas and use different colors for my notes and maybe for Chloe, who's on my team, who handles a lot of our content creation. And maybe Morgan and Urs from our team as well will dial in when it comes to things like financials or slide designs and things like that. It's all online. It's all in the cloud, as they say. And that's great because ultimately it frees up space on your hard drives as well. My fourth tool is Zoom. This ultimately has killed Skype 
for me. I used to be a very, very loyal, extremely consistent Skype user. But over recent years, they've certainly had a few problems when it comes to video quality in and amongst other things. What I love about Zoom is that they've got a webinar platform. You can just do video conferencing as well, and it's super easy to use. Yes, a little bit like Skype, you do need to download a piece of software, but it's very simple and easy to do so. And it gives you the ability to be able to see everyone up to, I think it's like multiple, like. 50, 60, 70 people, all at the same time on one screen, a la Brady Bunch. It works fantastic. We use it for our Youpreneur Incubator Mastermind group, and I use it personally for when I'm catching up with friends, as well as doing interviews for the podcast and anything else we've got going on as well. So that's number four, Zoom. Go check it out. And lastly, tool number five is Dropbox. Now, whether you go personal or business with Dropbox, and those are the two different options for you, it really doesn't matter. The fact is the Dropbox is a game changer when it comes to secure file storage for online businesses. Again, you can share folders which will have individual files in them, or you can just share individual files directly with your you know, freelancers or your team members, whatever the case may be, it, it, it really doesn't matter. What I love about Dropbox the most is that it does sync directly with your hard drive. So you do have a copy of everything that's up in the cloud on your hard drive specifically. So you don't need to be connected to the internet to utilize it. You can do it on airplanes and all the rest of it as well. However, if you do want to free up space, you can decide what files actually sit on your computer and which ones will sit up in the cloud as well. So it gives you that option. Super easy to use, very, very, very reasonable from a pricing perspective, and we would be pretty much dead without Dropbox. So there you go, my top essential tools for working with remote teams and teammates. I hope today's video has been helpful for you. As always, I'd love to know in the comments section what your biggest takeaway was. And if you've got a tool yourself that you use that you'd like to share with everybody else, please go ahead and do so. Smash that like button, as all the cool YouTubers say. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. And I'll be back at you again with another video very soon.